Welcome children. Take out your geography book. Chapter 6. Energy and Power Resources. Today's topic. Non-renewable energy resources. Energy resources that get exhausted on utilization and cannot be regenerated are known as non-renewable energy resources. Now, what are called the non-renewable energy resources? Energy resources which easily get exhausted on utilization and they cannot be regenerated. They are only known as non-renewable energy resources. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are such kinds of energy resources. Examples are coal, petroleum and natural gas. They are limited in nature and take millions of years to form again. Now, in nature they are found in very limited quantity and take some millions of years for its formation. Fossil fuels. For minerals that are known as fossil minerals, you already know minerals are also known as fossil fuels. These are the most energy efficient mineral resources and hence are widely used. Now, minerals what were? They are most efficient mineral resources and they are widely used. However, their reserves are gradually getting depleted. Now, their resources whatever they are gradually getting depleted. Coal and petroleum release. Greenhouse gases on burning, thus affecting the environment. Now, coal and petroleum, what they release? They release greenhouse gases on burning and also affect the environment. Thus, we need to find out means of conserving their resources and also placing them with more environment-friendly energy. And so, it is very much needed that we will find out the means of conserving their energy and also replace them with more environment-friendly energy. Now, coal. What is this coal? Coal is formed mostly in swampy region. Now, coal, where is it formed? It is formed in swampy region. Now, swampy region, it refers to the wetted area. Due to the decomposition of plant organisms, they have, they have remained worried over millions of years. Now, as, due to the decomposition of plant organisms, when the plant organism remains decomposed, uh, and they remain buried for long time. Under heat and pressure of the overlying layers of sediment, the decayed organic matter changes into combustible sedimentary rocks known as coal composed of hydrocarbon. Carbon. Now, when due to high heat and pressure of the overlying layers of the sediment, they get decayed. This decayed organic matter, this changes into combustible sedimentary rock. And what are they known as? They are known as coal and it is composed of hydrocarbon. Coal differs in its carbon content and has been graded accordingly. Now, coal. What it differs from? It differs from carbon content and it is graded accordingly. Different grains of coal with varying carbon percentage are anthracite, bituminous, lignite and P. Now different grains of coal. They have different varied carbon percentage and they are anthracite, bituminous, lignite and even P. China is the largest producer of coal in the world followed by United States of America, Australia and European country. Now China, what is it? It is the largest producer of coal in the world and it is followed by United States of America, India, Australia and the European Union. Other coal producers in the world are Germany, Poland, Russia, South Africa and Canada. And other coal producing areas of the world are Germany, Poland, Russia, South Africa and Canada. Coal in India. India is richly endowed with Coal reserve mostly in bituminous variety. Now, India, what is it endowed with? Coal reserve, mostly it is found in bituminous variety. Major thermal power production sites are situated near coal fields. As such, coal is rock, bulky raw material. Now, major uh, thermal power production, that is the sites they are situated near the coal field. And coal is what? Is a bulky raw material. The states of Jharkhand, Lis and Kota. Now, states of Jharkhand, it has the largest coal production in India. The oldest and the largest coal field in India is the Ranigan coal, coal field in the states of West Bengal. Now, Ranigan coal field which is situated, which is in West Bengal, it is the oldest and the largest coal field in India. Now, with this, now take out your diary, write chapter 6, energy resource, energy, uh, energy and power resources, non-renewable energy resources, Explain homework, revise it, and with this, I'm ending my today's class. Goodbye.